Let's take a tour of the internal anatomy of the skull. As we look closely, the frontal bone is in this area. This is called the frontal crest. The sticking up part in the middle is called the Christogaly. This is an anchor point for the Falk cerebri. On either side of the crista is the cribriform plate. These are all pa both parts of the ethmoid bone, by the way. The cribriform plate has holes in it to allow for the olfactory nerves to come up into the cranial vault. As we extend a little bit further backward, we can see the bat wing bone here, which is called the sphenoid. This is the lesser wing of the sphenoid. There is an optic canal here for the cranial nerve too is optic. And then there is a chiasmic, chiasmatic groove here where the optic nerves come together before they crisscross. This is the cella tersica. This is where the pituitary, pituitary gland is located. Located, it literally means Turkish saddle. This is the dorsum cellae. This portion in the middle, right in front of the foramen magnum, is called the clivus. As we extend further backward, we have the occipital bone, and laterally, we have the temporal bone. So as we go back to the toward the front, I'm going to talk about the superior orbital fissure, the foramen rotundum, next and I'm going to have to lift this up with my hand and you'll just have to look and see where the arrow is pointing. So as I lift the skull upward you can see the superior orbital fissure and the foramen rotundum and then as, as we come a little bit further posteriorward, see if I can get a focus here please, have the foramen ovale, the foramen spinosum, and then as I angle the skull up even further, the foramen lacerum. And then there is a groove above the frame, uh, above where I wrote lacerum. It's called the groove for the greater petrosal nerve. As I extend a little bit further backward, there is a hole for the internal acoustic meatus, which is at the end of my finger. There's the jugular foramen, hypoglossal canal, and foramen magnum. This is called the internal occipital crest, internal occipital protuberance, and that pretty much covers the inside of the skull. Marvelous. Marvelous, marvelous.